have an inheritance. We have an inheritance. And that inheritance we will receive. That kingdom that you have promised to us, we will receive. Kingdom come. Kingdom come. Anybody says God called this nation to be a light yes it has flaws so does Israel yes it has imperfections but did I call my people to perfection I said you would be a light shining in a dark place. I said you would be a hand that would feed the hungry. And I gave you oil to heal nations. And I gave you my breath to sing. Even your national anthem has my breath on it. Now they are foes. ISIS, ISIS is not an Islamic state. It is a God that was worshipped centuries and millennia ago. Starting with Nimrod, that same spirit has rested upon the East. Middle East and is knocking at your door. But you have acknowledged me as the Lord God of your nation. I cease will cease to influence and exist on the streets of my soil, America and Israel and Western nations. You shall put your fist down on Turkey. You shall put your fist down on Russia, Syria and Iran. ISIS, head 
kids have been taken from children. I do not like that, says the Lord. Therefore, I have come to the earth to examine and to inspect, to see how I shall judge you in the presence of your enemies. No, 9-11 attempt shall be to their satisfaction, says the Lord. No, but watch Chicago and watch Michigan. For they are terrors that draw closer and closer to banish the sounds of praise. Israel has praised me and shall continue. My people, Ecclesia, shall praise me and they shall continue. Therefore, I am the guardian of this nation and I will put a stop to it and expose, expose, expose in the fall until you realize that I have spoken and it is so, says the Lord of hosts. Come on! What have I prepared for the nations of the earth? What have I prepared for the nations of the earth? This is the latter part of what the Spirit gave me. What have I prepared for New Zealand? What have I prepared for Ukraine? What have I prepared for Russia? Estonia, Europe, and the Middle East. Yes, Yeshua is moving to a people who are dissatisfied. There is only one God, but Allah, they say. Be up a little. There is only one God, but Allah. Would you not like to know what the Lord has to say? There is only one God but God. There is only one God but God. And I will go where I wish. I was able to tear down the wall to Ronald Reagan. And the curtain. But there are two more walls that will come down. And in 2018, at the celebration of Israel's birthday, there shall be an outpouring of my spirit in Israel like it has not had since the days of David and the days of Jesus. You listen to me, everybody. But I have prepared my Holy Spirit, who is part of our Godhead, our Trinity, to bring upon the earth, and especially America, Canada, France, the Netherlands, Germany, and many others. A move of the Holy Spirit that will creep over into the streets of the Middle East and there shall be Damascus Road conversions take place in the highest places in terrorist organizations and they shall come out and they shall reveal the truth and the evil of Islam and there shall be a shaking in the kingdom and the way that I shook in 1900 at the turn of the century 1948 in the 60s and the 70s I will accumulate them all in one Come on. and I shall pour out of my 
Spirit with a global renewal, says the Lord. I want you to listen to me now. Hallelujah is a word of obviously to exalt Halal, the Lord God. And I want you to hear me, please, because that song, not even specifically the melody, but the hallelujah will suddenly emerge and begin to be sung all over the world. They say that Islam is attracting young people. But the Spirit told me, and I saw this, all over the world, Jesus became popular. Jesus became famous again. A fame that is worthy of Him. Conversions will take place in universities and schools. And the people that are professors and teachers that have taught all this erroneous crap in the presence of these, I will raise up scientists yep. that will speak the truth and it will spread. And people will try and stop it, but it will not be stopped. Come on. Come on. This shall spread and spread and spread, and there will be no control, for it shall be like a river. That's what I saw. Now, many of you watching all over the world, you know what I do. There is an altar. You've heard it directly from the Spirit of God. How He is going to move from one nation to the other through the streets. House churches will be just about in every street in the United States of America and in Europe. Every street, every neighborhood shall have the ability and to hear the gospel of the kingdom. For God will not allow his son to return, but will retain him until the fulfillment of every prophetic word that the prophets prophesied. And the one thing that is being restored at this very moment in the midst of rubble, in the midst of clay, in the midst of mire, is the tabernacle of David. The restoration of the tabernacle of David will bring about souls into the kingdom by the millions, yes. the tens of millions. And it shall be known, spoken about by Time magazine. And I saw a new magazine that is also going to come forth. Come on. Not necessarily on paper alone, of course not, to be on the internet, but that shall speak of Christ, but it shall use the finest of scientists, the finest of athletes, the finest of artists, the finest of economists and business people. Prosperity is at our door. Now you may say, that doesn't look possible. Do not say that because what God requires from you now is faith. You see, faith is the only thing that can please God. It says, without faith, it is impossible to please Him. If you're watching me now, you heard the word of the Lord, you received faith. If you believe what God just said, and you know what? It takes a bit of guts to do some, some of the things I do. But you know, I heard it from Him. Every person that is watching me, everyone that heard this word in God's presence and in the presence of His word at this altar, I'm going to allow you to give an offering to God. Kim, what do you mean allow me? What a privilege when God's promise is in front of us. Many of you will walk away and say, I will not sow. 
and you'll have the visitation. But most of you will take a step of faith and say, I'm going to sow into that promise so I can bring it into my home. Bring it into my workplace. Bring it into my ministry. Bring it into my, my family. That promise is not years to come. That promise is right now for you. And what we do here at the den is we sow offerings and we give to Israel. We give to Ukraine. We give to people that need, like in Iraq, Iraq right now. And we let this broadcast go throughout the earth so people will get hope. That's what is present in your home. You want to keep it there. With the faith that you have. And this is a beautiful thing to do because what you're saying is, I want an habitation of the promise. I don't want a visitation of this promise. I don't want it to last just for a season. I want this promise to remain in my home until barrenness has been removed and there is multiplication and acceleration. I want that now. How many of you out there watching me are saying, I want that? This is not a false promise. Let's do it. Let's believe it. The woman that took Elisha the prophet in, she actually took the word of multiplication into a home and went from a visitation to a habitation you have an opportunity today to allow this to be a habitation to come and actually live in your home the promise that was just given not only for your nation but for you as a people and a family prosperity is knocking on your door i want you to pray with me now every person watching we are going to give it's time and you are going to sow into this promise and bring it from outside of your house into your home. And the only way that that woman could bring Elisha the prophet with his word into her house was to give. And she built a room and made space for the prophet. That's what you're doing today. Use your faith and say, I believe what was said and I want the move of that spirit in my home now. Let's pray. Father, we now realize that you are going to give us a portion of the Holy Spirit like the church has never had. Now that's really big to say. We have had great revivals throughout the centuries. Why not us? Why would we disqualify? No. You just gave us a promise that you are giving to us a portion of God's Spirit, when I say a portion of His visitation to habitation, that has never happened before. Now Lord, with that in mind, with the promise of peace, the promise of life, the promise of prosperity, we are going to sow. Now everybody watching and everybody here today, say these words with me. Lord, I heard your word. Your promises are yes and amen. I refuse to let this pass me by. I will sow and give today as your Holy Spirit tells me. And what's going to happen is I'm going to ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you what you must sow and what you must give. Let this be the first fruits. Let this be the beginning of the invitation to God's Holy Spirit to come into your home and give you the portion that He has promised. Say that again. Holy Spirit, speak to me. Show me what to give. I sow into your promise to bring it into my house, my family, my business, my ventures, my adventures. And I thank you. As I give, this divine exchange will take place. Show me now what to give. Speak, sweet spirit. Speak to everybody. There we go. And you'll get an impression. You'll feel something. But you got to do it now. This is for his kingdom. And I am a prophetic voice. And when you sow to a prophet, there is a prophet's reward. In our land. Come to us, we pray with open hands. We say, You are welcome, 
You are welcome in our homes. Come to us, we pray. With open hearts, we say, You are welcome. You are welcome in our land. sense the presence of the Lord I want everybody watching all over the world there's a second part of this prophetic words about to come and there's a timing that God very clearly stated his feelings about the blood of innocent children and lives that are crying out from a mountain in Iraq Pakistan Afghanistan, Syria, even Saudi. So we welcome you into our land, into our homes, into our hearts today. Everybody all over the world, there are many people watching. Lift your hands and say with me, I'm going to stand. Lord, we welcome you. Jesus, Yeshua. Christ, light, love, say it with me, love, peace, joy, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, mercy. We welcome you into our land at this time. Do it. Doesn't matter who you are, where you are, raise your hands and thank Him. Worship Him and say, I love you. I worship and honor you. I pray that you would keep the heart of America in sacred chastity for you, the Lord that made us. I pray that you would anoint our head with oil and let that same oil be the healing balm to heal the wounds of the nations. We lift our hands and receive the healing in our homes, in our bodies, in our souls. We lift our hands and receive restoration now. We lift our hearts and receive forgiveness of sins. Remembering that we were created, His handiwork, in Christ Jesus, for good works, which the Father prepared beforehand, that we should walk therein. I pray today, Lord, that as our hands and our hearts are united, that the washing of the water of the word take place now. Sprinkle in every home and on every doorpost. May your words and laws be written 
in the streets of America, in the streets of England, the streets of Europe, the streets of your nations. Sprinkle the blood on the doorposts that the angel of death that has desired the nation may that blood cry out may that blood cry out from every doorpost of your people may your blood cry out of better things than that of Abel I pray stop the division and the discord in this nation and hear the prayers of your saints even if it's just today as hundreds of thousands will draw together all over the earth our one goal is to praise you and to lift you up it doesn't matter if I don't preach or do anything what we will do today as nations is worship you we will lift you up Lord from this den and from our homes be glorified oh God let your glory cover the earth as the waters cover the sea let your glory be above the heavens let your glory fill the earth I pray I pray that your presence Lord God would drive back our enemies I pray like Jehoshaphat prayed as he stood before the nations and he said here they have come to take us away from our possession which you have given us to inherit Lord we have an inheritance we have an inheritance and that inheritance we will receive that kingdom that you have promised to us we will receive kingdom come kingdom come kingdom come kingdom come kingdom come kingdom come come all over the world there are people standing under the power of this holy spirit that is present Say it with me. Kingdom come. Kingdom come. Kingdom come. 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 And your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. Deliver us from evil. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the glory. Everybody watching me that has been influenced by the power of the prognosis given by our new news media I break the power of that now what you have is a permeating of hope coming to you from one who has stepped into the future as far as 2019 that's what I've done by his spirit to tell you that a season of war cannot remain a season of war seasons change this will come to an end and rejoicing and celebration will once again be on the streets of Jerusalem and in the streets of America that is all I have to say about that come on. you know what I love about the prophetic is 
You get so close to the heart of God. You hear his mind, his thoughts, what he plans to do. You know, you need this on a regular basis. And there are millions of viewers all over the world that experience this twice a week, sometimes even more, at my den. And you can experience it as well. I would love to have you there. All you've got to do is go to kim.tv. We have so much. We have worship. We have songs that come from the heart of God, prophetic words about things that have not happened yet. That's what we, we say to the people, welcome to the future. And I want you to experience that. I look forward to seeing you there.